Hey, this week's episode is a diner classic, but oh, we cowboying it up a notch. We are, what are we talking about? That patty melt, but ooh, them good caramelized onions with some of that good special sauce that we're making. And guess what? It's an old and a little help from what a burger. So folks, you don't want to miss this. And I done went through the drive up window and hit it home. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard on a little bit of a breezy afternoon it is, but what are we talking about? That old classic that used to come from a lot of diners, what is it? A patty melt. We're going to do it cowboy style and we're even getting a little inspiration and doing sort of a remake of a water burger patty melt. You folks in Texas and some parts of Oklahoma, y'all know what I'm talking about. My brother Randy swears it is the best burger in the whole United States. Now, most of the time, the patty melt was served on rye bread. Okay, now, some of you folks out there are gonna be hollering at me, but the cowboy does not like rye bread. We're gonna use a big old thick monster piece of Texas toast like we did when you seen the what, Shan, what was it? The grilled cheese sandwich on the grill. Now, they'll have you a link up there to where you can find it, but mm, it was some good eating. What is the next thing you really gotta have if you're gonna do a patty melt? you got to have some caramelized onions, and I'm talking a bunch of them. So let me get over here to the Hasty Bake, make sure that skillet is hot, and we'll get after it. Now, folks, this is probably the longest cook time in this recipe that you're going to have, and it's about 15 to 20 minutes. If you're doing it in the house, preheat your skillet over some medium heat. I want you to take two tablespoons of butter. I am using me some of that Kerry Gold, which y'all have seen me use many times. And while we're doing that, I want you to see how thinly sliced them little onions are because that's going to let them caramelize a little quicker. Now I use two medium-sized onions. If you've got a great big honking onion, that might be enough. But I just need you to put all them in there. And we're just going to let them just lay in there. And we're going to keep stirring them and mashing them up and flipping them over to where we get a good brown color to them and they're good brings out all that sweetness right to the top and we need it and we're going to get a little crisp now folks i want to stress to you don't be in no hurry here if you're thinking i'm going to go out here and i'm going to put i'm going to make this at six and we're going to eat at 6 30 probably ain't going to happen because this sort of takes a little time for all the goodness to come out of them onions you need to let them brown up get really good and crisp that's how we're getting all that good flavor in there and i want them to be golden brown Woo-wee! We got some things happening here, folks, and it is looking some of that good. The aroma coming out of there. A trick my mother taught me a long time ago when you was trying to caramelize some onions or get some taters to be really crispy a little faster and quicker. Put you a little of that there. Apple cider vinegar in there. Give them a quick stir. Apple cider or vinegar? Oh, I'm sorry, just regular vinegar. I do take apple cider vinegar every day though. Mm, wonderful drug it is. And folks, I would say them as some caramelized onions where the cowboy lives. So I need you just to go ahead, get them out of that field skillet. Well, we have let them onions cool just a minute. Then I want you to take some of that there W sauce. I ain't even gonna pronounce it, try to pronounce it. And I just want you to give them a little bath in there. Oh my gosh, somebody has used all the W sauce, shit. Folks, about a tablespoon's what you need. Put on them onions, stir them up a little, cover them, and let's move on to what you call it. What is this, Shen? It is a piece of Texas toast. Aha, uh -huh, Texas toast. But what is this piece used for, Shen? We're going to take it like this right here. What is this piece known as? The guide. The guide, the model. You have learned that from so many times. So. Hang on, you and Andy. Let I get me some meat. Taste it. 
take her down here and you know folks that hamburger meat sort of shrivels so i want you to make it bigger than your piece of bread so how much is that supposed to weigh each patty supposed to weigh we're going with about three-fourths of a pound okay per patty uh-huh which would make when you add that together how a much lot. a lot <laughs> that is right now this is a pretty quick fry you can see by the guide folks that they are pretty close to similar in size and y'all know me by now if we're gonna put some meat on there it's gonna be enough to make an appetite red river ranch original i want you to season really well and we never season burgers ahead of time because you'd be drying the meat out we got our skillet over there heating and while them are sitting right there i want you to go back to that two tablespoons of butter and put one in there will they both fit in there shin inquiring minds want to know they will so don't mess with them don't touch them don't look at them but we are going to mash them here in a minute well folks they've been on about a minute and a half they have we need to give them just a little mash in here they ain't near ready to turn yet we'll let them go another minute or so and then we'll flip them over Well, them are a done deal. Put them over here in that little Wagner to stay warm. You can see I got this setting over here sort of off the fire. Just leave it set just as it be and let's get back to work with this here Texas toast. Now, Whataburger, they got this special sauce that goes on. I think they call it the Whataburger pepper sauce, something like that. The cowboy just went ahead and mixed some up on his own. And folks, it is some of that there good Duke's mayo Ooh, Duke, hey, come here, tell him about your mayo. He said that stuff right there, folks, good on everything it is. He really loves it. Some of your favorite barbecue sauce, which that kind is mine, and folks, some spicy brown mustard. Mm. And then we're gonna what? Grate us up a jalapeno in there, put a little ketchup, season it with some of that good Red River Ranch Mesquite seasoning, and stir it up. So, here we go. I want you to take some of that there special sauce, and if you can see, look in there, them jalapenos is shining just out. We have the Swiss here. So we're going to go ahead and put one there and one here. Now, at this time, as Duke would suggest, as he's showing me, we need to put some meat over here. So, and you can lay it over and see how much it sort of just drawed up there to the right weight and the size to appropriately fit our sandwich. And then guess what? I want you to give it some of these caramelized onions that had some of that good W sauce on them. All right, when you got that halfway there made just right, I need you to go back over here, slide your skillet back over where it is preheating while we get ready. Right here, some cheese. And guess what? Some more meat. Some more cheese. Uh-huh. And we got a piece over here so it's doubled up. But folks, we gotta have some more of them yummy caramelized onions. So back over here it goes, and Shan has always been a fond of match your bread up. So geometrically speaking, it goes right just like that. Now, a thing that is gonna help things toast better, taste better, mm, and I don't know if y'all have ever done it, a little dab of mayonnaise right here on the side that is going down to the cast iron first. Look here, more butter. I just want you to put her in there, rub her all the way around, folks. Get some of them drippings that's up on there. I need you to go ahead and take your little spatula, scoop under here so precisely. Remember, mayonnaise size down first, and I want you to give it a little mashing. A lot of places would tell you, if you've got another cast iron skillet that's really hot, just set it right up there on top. You can be toasting both sides at the same time. But guess what? This side's gotta have some mayonnaise on it too.
Well, folks, looky there. Ain't that a pretty looking sight with that little onion hanging out there going, hey, come on over here, bring your teeth, and let's have a bite. But folks, let's go ahead and get the water burger patty melt out of there. And in no way have I ever criticized none of these places that we've went and did these sort of remakes on. And I appreciate the good folks at Whataburger helping me out. And see, they got two patties on theirs too. I so, that. yeah. And they got the special sauce on there and some cheese. And mm, mm, mm. Ooh, that looks good. That looks some of that yummy, don't it, Big? Can you do a Whataburger wiggle? Hang on. <laughs> that is fine dining right there, folks. I'm going to come right on over here so you can be safe. I'm just getting warmed up. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Whoa! What a burger that is, folks. What? Okay. Hang on. Good job. I mean, you get that special sauce with that little hint of jalapeno in there and that good barbecue sauce. But folks, I'll tell you what. Mm -mm. As Justin Wilson would say, them onions are the star of this show with that good certified Angus beef meat in there. And every bite has cheese and onions. So... So we hope you enjoyed it, me and Shan and the pups do. And like I say, everything that we use today will be down there listed in the little link below. And I have a very special shout out this week. A young lady, a great fan of mine over in Ireland, Isabella Rose. Woo wee, she be having her a birthday, she is. She's five years old, fitting to turn six, and she is a great fan of mine. Sent me a wonderful picture. Hi, sugar, I tip my hat to you. And I hope on that day in November, you have the greatest birthday of all. Now, as always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the folks and the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp, no matter where me and Shan may be. Hey folks, sort of a crazy time out there, but this is a place that you can come, gather around the table, share in the food, have a good time, do some happy dancing, and just think, we all family. We love y'all. God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the patty melt onion burger trail. Now what is the secret to what a <sighs> patty melt, patty melt, patty melt. Field skillet. Oh, we have a burglar alarm. Oh, what's it in Winders Pays here? Bubba de Blue Lumber Dorsky, but I'm not sure if I can't. Yeah. Temporarily, that is not a word.